what does this survey tell us about the outlook for the Japanese economy? Well, one thing it tells us, ob obviously, we will never get rid of the pessimists in Japan, and this is probably a good thing. But uh, the most significant number here is that the non-manufacturing sector as well has become much more optimistic uh, than before. Uh, so companies are now looking uh, towards more investment and really pulling the economy out of recession. I think the recession really is behind us by now. Well, this is the thing. I mean, is this uh, boost in confidence that's been precipitated by a boost in exports, is that going to lead to companies spending? Spending more money, perhaps hiring more workers, maybe even raising wages? Mm, not that directly, unfortunately. What we're seeing here in, uh, in Japan is basically the old strengths of the economy being, being pushed by exports, being pulled by Asia, by foreign demand is really, really taking a hold on the economy. And this is helping the domestic economy as well. But it's not channeling that, uh, that, uh, through that fast. We will probably have to wait till the winter bonuses. And this is still uh, six, uh, well eight, nine months ahead. Now, you mentioned that uh, it wasn't just the manufacturers that became more optimistic. It was also the non-manufacturing companies. How significant is that development? That is extremely important because sentiment has been so depressed here that again and again Japan is falling back into, into recession. What we have seen throughout this major recession is that household demand was actually not falling apart, that people were not losing their jobs in numbers we expected, and this is extremely helpful. I think this is a very solid basis for this year. How bad is the deflation situation? Is there a light at the end of the tunnel on that front? Well, Japan never really fully pulled out of deflation, so it was more or less pushed back into deflation. This made the situation even more depressing, of course. Uh, we are now at around 1% deflation. This is still too much, of course, but overall demand is holding in a way, and uh, with wages increasing when going into next year again, uh, we will probably see an end of deflation, finally an end of the deflation in Japan next year. Now, the Bank of Japan meets next week. Is this Tankan survey going to have an impact on its uh, decision? Well, yes, uh, importantly, of course, uh, this is a very positive uh, Tankan. So the Bank of Japan will be able to hold back on any uh, next step on uh, giving in to any government pressure. And going into an, an election in summer, this is very important because we have a scare of public debt of a sovereign crisis here as well. Okay, Martin Scholl, senior economist, Fujitsu Research Institute, joining us there from Tokyo. Thank you so much.